Welcome back. So I know I preach a whole bunch about the black market blackout and don't spend your money on supply drops and don't be part of the problem, be part of the solution. And I'm super negative when it comes to that. And I apologize. I'm not an always negative person. I try and be as optimistic as I can. And I even try and have multiple times explain the glass half empty versus half full theory to my own mother and she can't comprehend it. and it helps me understand that this world is crazy and so must its inhabitants be and it's all about finding a crazy tribe so if you're here and you're listening to this welcome to the tribe welcome to the circle i put together seven tips for me to you to help earn keys faster because that's what's viable in this game keys for salvage for weapons and a lot of people who play multiplayer necessarily have gravitated towards zombies because of this so because of that I have seven tips to help maximize or utilize to get those keys my tips and tricks to you your play style is the same as it would be a multiplayer don't think of zombies any different if anything it's extra random and it truly shows in my opinion where the developers concepts for the game lie but I digress uh, your wall guns your box guns some people have different play styles of they go first for a wall buy or a box I personally always do the same wall buys, the same uh, melee in my situation uh, because it's rave I enjoy, but uh, I always get the M1 and it depends on your map knowledge and your familiarity and again if you do certain things in multiplayer you'll probably do them in zombies so get comfortable I recommend with whatever you do so it's a routine and you can maximize the time that you do things in when sticking to routines. Uh, Number two, your fate and fortune card should complement your play style and the weapons you choose. If it is a box buy or a wall gun that you utilize, there are certain fate and fortune cards you can utilize or uh, have access to because some of those are through supply drops only. I recommend the dead shot, I believe it is, dead eye, and the scope dollars. Those are my top two in my M1. I learned that in Zombies in Spaceland. But if there are other weapons that you choose to pursue, whether it's new ones or whatever, there are other cards that you can stack up and utilize. And when you're not utilizing when you don't have those cards per se utilize different weapons to different cards and mix and match it helps bring diversity to the game because it can get very repetitive it's only hordes Uh, number three map knowledge and circle so familiarizing yourself with your surroundings is always like top priority when learning you know new dlc and mp or new zombies map so knowing where you are and being able to run a circle where you are comfortable is key to not getting caught uh, can you run backwards? Can you just run backwards as if you were rude? Crazy cat. Uh, can you run backwards blindfolded or can you run backwards and know if you suddenly stop and you can't go backwards anymore if it's a left or a right or is it a, a U-turn or map knowledge is key. Um, and finding your circle, I believe, is you going back and looking at where you played the most. You know, you can see hot areas and routes and stuff in multiplayer and the zombies can community doesn't have that per se. I don't believe with the maps. I might be wrong. I might revise this, but to my knowledge, there's not an area showing you your hot routes for zombies. And knowing where you enjoy doing your circles best is uh, something that could definitely benefit you if you're going to be on a specific map, because I pretty much play rave, and I'll probably play rave until this game is done. Just easy for keys. Uh, But I digress. Get comfortable. Find your circle. Use your map knowledge. And number four, slow down. Look for patterns. Always scan for openings. It's proven that the human brain is accustomed to looking for patterns and doing repetitive movements. So even if a pattern doesn't necessarily exist, we see a pattern or we formulate a pattern out of nothing. So it's really easy to look for patterns and pretend you were a quarterback. If you got the ball and you proceeded backwards to scan for receivers to get rid of this ball that everyone wants to kill you for, you would have to also see the openings that you could get away from someone coming at you to get it in case one of your receivers isn't open. We all do it. It's a practical trait or characteristic that we all have. Use it, using and utilizing it in zombies is no different than the real world. Part of why I get so upset that some of you people drive motor vehicles to get this game in the way you play is. <clears throat> Number five, map control. Control your spawns the best you can. Doing it in multiplayer is hard learning the maps and spawns and it just comes with time but once you learn it you should utilize it keeping your enemies in one area or on one side of the map or predicting 
team, if you're here and your teammates are around you, the bad guys are probably on the other side, is key to not getting smothered and smushed. And zombies, they will spawn right on top of you. So always being one step of head or keeping where they're spawning not behind you or being aware of what you're walking into is really important to not getting caught and it uh, helps you minimize your back attacks is what I will refer to it as. Moving to a new area of the map they begin respawning you not paying attention or neglecting your map or spawn control and they start popping up behind you you get cornered and it's all over with. You just went 19 rounds for nothing. Now at the same time controlling the horde and, and utilizing their spawns once you've done it correctly this is a perfect time for your side missions as well call it any of your easter egg tidbits now you can't keep a crawler in this game but you can keep a runner and this is when you should be utilizing your challenges and things of that nature if you need to get a perk specifically on the other side of the map that you can't get to without starting a new round and them all spawning and you losing map control this is when you should do that i don't always do this i forget some of these too help me help you number six utilization don't forget that the game gets harder as you progress even though the weapons are better compared to what you don't have you know in the beginning the game's getting harder and it's going to catch up to you very quick before you even understand how deep of crap you're in so utilization of your box your wall buys uh to pack if you're going to pack a punch or finish a challenge do a challenge the tactical nades in this game are op kind of in my opinion but they're there nonetheless so you must utilize them the rewind can get you out of a sticky situation plus refill all of your ammo without you having to reload everything topped off all three weapons all four yeah, that's still a thing you want to be in a certain place and the game's about to end you got one left but you have to go do something on the other side of the map or you got to go pack but you don't want to kill him or wait and save him and then run toss that down go do your thing hit the button kill him hit the button it, it quick rounds you can easily navigate the rounds and utilizing all of this is key uh, number seven the very last one i have don't get cocky don't get caught to be mad is to have already lost and to be arrogant is to have forgotten what once was known but not cared to remember hashtag rookie mistakes so play style your fate and fortune cards your map knowledge find a circle slow down look for your patterns utilize map control spawns your side missions at the end of rounds not the beginning of rounds uh, don't forget about your wall buys and your challenges and utilize them all together you'll find a flow don't get cocky don't get caught with your hand in the cookie jar your pants around your ankle in your long johns in a random closet because some random girl with some random name that you don't remember but who's now parents are home and you're just hoping she's 18 and her dad's blind or a bad shot damn p.s he was half of both still got the scar until next time <sighs> I gotta quit writing stuff down. You guys are in my diary. Easy keys. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I don't know who the hell said that. I shouldn't have said that. I gotta cut that. Till next time, my friend. Y'all be safe out there. It's 228. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs>